All right, so today we are going to be reviewing the Ninja Professional Blender and Nutri Ninja. This machine is capable of using the 72 ounce pitcher for frozen drinks, ice cream, and butter and dips. You can also use it for extraction, smoothies, and dressings in the small cup. This small cup. The machine is capable of making perfectly crushed ice in the full size pitcher. You can blast or blend whole fruits and vegetables effortlessly, ice into snow in seconds. It has nutrient and vitamin extraction, create delicious personalized smoothies and juice to enjoy on the go. It is the same on this side. It shows you how this works. It has their Nutri Ninja blade assembly with their to-go lids and the cups which you can drink directly out of. It has an 1100 watt motor base, 72 ounce picture, easy to clean, control panel, cord storage, and a sturdy non-slip base. So let's unbox this. All right, so let's unbox the Ninja. So instructions, good minimal instructions. There's the to-go lids. Here's your main cup. Lid. Oh, these are very small. That's kind of cool. These are blades. So very uh, sharp and powerful looking blades. See just how sharp they are. <laughs> They're very sharp. Recommend. Careful with those. Not sure how many of the small cups you get. It's like two. It's pretty nice. Personalized smoothies, I guess what you say. And the motor base. Which is surprisingly pretty heavy. Alright. Much smaller than I was expecting though. So for the small cups, you just do good, locks it to place, just like so. For the big cup, easy to figure it out. Oh, that, okay. That I like. That I like. And do that too. That's how it locks. All right, let's get into the review. All right, so we got the cup. So we're gonna first be making a fruit smoothie. Got some strawberries frozen. Let's test their total ice crushing ability. See how well that holds up. There we go. Orange sherbet. Yes, I will be tasting this. And then some orange juice. I have made this drink many times before in my expensive blender. Let's see how well this one does. So put the cup on, just long enough. Do pulse. I'm guessing there's a button you have to switch on somewhere. Oh, you have to power it on first. Alright, 
Let's see if we get on the job. So overall, it's very thick. More maybe. Almost would say. Like a. I'm not sure how to describe it. Blizzard like ice cream out of this. Wow, that's very thick. Very, very thick. That's fine though. Still looks delicious, so let's pour it out and try it. So let's put our, um, I'm not even sure what to call it. Not really a smoothie. And it's darn good. So I'll say that the Ninja did an excellent job of blending that. I think it needed more liquid. Again, I'm used to blender that you could buy many of these for. Um, I'm going to clean up this area right here and I will be uh, continuing with a, let's say, leafy green and berry smoothie to see how well it works in the small cups. So next we're going to be making a smoothie with this stuff right here. There's a frozen berry mix. That's enough. Won't fit the whole thing. A little bit. Um, I'm not even sure what this stuff is. All right, I'm gonna go put some liquid in this. All right, let's put on the Nutri Ninja extraction blades. Try this out. We got the good old strainer. If there are unbroken kale bits or seeds, the strainer will catch them. Strainer glass. All right, let's run water through it. Here is all the seeds. It did not break the seeds down. Well, it kind of did. A little bit, but still quite a bit. So it did not get rid of all the seeds, but most blenders will not. So you need a very powerful blender to get rid of those seeds. Very powerful. All right, we have one more test. All right, so I had these stalks of, not even sure what this is, and I was gonna throw them out anyways. So let's see how well the little cup deals with them. All right, so we got this right here. Delicious, warm, really bad smelling <laughs> slurry of soft juice. Right. So it's fitting to do the strainer, so most of these pieces are very small. These are all that's left of that. I'd say for maybe less than 20 seconds or so of blending. Did a very good job, and that really smells bad. <laughs> So, time for the conclusion. All right, so I'm actually very impressed with this Ninja Blender. I think it did an excellent job of dealing with all the tests I put it through. It ground up the stalks pretty good. It did a pretty good job on the seeds. Again, most blenders wouldn't do that. So this did a pretty good job for what it is. It was able to make a very thick, almost like slurry-like, slushy like consistency in the big cup but overall Stinja did a pretty darn good job and I could definitely recommend this machine 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.